I was gonna start cutting today, but I had two calls about timber yesterday and one real close to where one of the calls was so and it's still kind of raining today so i just figured you know today'd be a good day to look at some timber because one of these is close to home it's just down the road here about oh 10 12 miles then the other two are not too far apart from each other down by joplin and that gives me a reason to uh, if i play my cards just right which i think i can i'm gonna i'm gonna stop in at cookies and eat lunch so that's always a, to me, that's almost a good enough reason to skip work if I've got any kind of timber to look at, if, if I can eat lunch at Cookies. So the first job here, gentleman says he's got 30 walnut trees he wants to look at. And I kind of know where they're at. I kind of don't, I'm not sure. I'm a little fuzzy on his directions. So if it's the, if it's what the place I'm thinking it is, then yeah, it's, it's down on the, the Brush Creek and he'll have some pretty good trees because we've cut trees on not not every farm around it but getting pretty close so i kind of know where it might be uh the second job is a place called reeds missouri just kind of east of carthage a bit and it's he claims it's just oak timber but of course i'm i'm real big about it. i like to know where i'm going before i get there so i pulled up maps of his address and it's it's on a bunch of creeks so i'm thinking I mean, he should have a little bit of walnut mixed in with it, too. And the third job, I would think there'd bound to be a few walnut, but he's saying the same thing, oak, but it's down on the Spring River, not too far from that last job on the Spring River we cut. So, who knows? And that's at uh, close to, gosh darn it, Neck City. Neck City's the, the little burg it's by. I'm trying to think of the other town there close. Gosh darn it, I can't. For the life of me, I can't remember the name of it right off. So many of these little towns, you get to where you you forget the names of half of them from time to time. But so it's a it's a good day to look at timber rain and stuff. I mean, it's I don't know need to be cut and get some logs out. But it was pretty wet up there yesterday. We dropped off the skitter. It's gonna be wet anywhere. Hopefully, if if this turns into something over here, what I'm hoping is if I can get a deal lined up on it today maybe we can move the skid steer in tomorrow and cut the next even if it takes two days the skid steer that's two days we can we can do to cut it and we won't leave much of a footprint with the tracks so fingers crossed there but let's see if we can go buy some timber i'll see if i can take you guys with me you know i i never know about that because a lot of times if a landowner wants to walk with me you know they've got my full attention and i don't have time to be making youtube videos so we'll see what we can do today. I think we're going to try out. I've got a new iPad here. I've got the Timber Tracker app downloaded on that iPad. We bought a couple iPads last week for Timber Dynamics. <clears throat> Today's got one that, just for logger thread, she runs, uh, she keeps track of our inventory and everything, and she can run the little square card reader and all that stuff and take orders wirelessly, pretty much. But I've got one here just for Timber Tracker. So we might try to break it out today. Let's go look at some trees. Once again, we've got our timing down right. I am going to get to eat lunch over here at Cookies. <laughs> Pretty clever sometimes, I like to think. Uh, it, the rain's still peppering on down. Seems like the further south we go, the and it's not really raining hard, just kind of enough to aggravate you. You know, we... The first job I looked at this morning, we bought some walnut, a few oaks, some ash. It was down on a Brush Creek's where it was. And it wasn't the job I was thinking it was. It was the one right next to it. But there was a couple really good trees, but at the same time, there, there wasn't a, a big bunch of them. But being that close to home, they'll be fairly easy to cut. I was thinking we could get them with a the skid steer, but it's brushy enough. I don't know if we can log them with a the skid steer or not. I don't know if I want to take the skid steer down in the timber and try to get them out. And there's some tall trees on the creek. There's one really good one down there, really tall. It's It might be 18 inches, but I, I bet it's close to 18 inches at 30 feet. You know, it's really got some height to it. Uh, so we're, we're one for one so far today. We got two more to go, so... We're going to stop in here and eat lunch and see if we can't go buy another job of oak. Like I said, I, with the oak market's kind of coming back, I'm, I'm really 
cutting this oak right now. If we there's a fine line. I like to think when you're cutting oak, they they need to have some size to them. Uh, I I think the oak. I think they need to run at least a 200 board foot of tree average to to really justify cutting it right now. To for the you know our sake and the landowner's sake, just so everybody can come out on it. When you get to cutting that smaller stuff, it's just you're. I think you're just spinning your wheels, just spinning your wheels. But they're already starting to put corn in the ground over here around Golden City. Golden City and Lamar. I, of course, we were working over here. We were coming through here quite a bit here just a couple weeks ago when we were working out here at Carthage, which is basically where we're going today, Reeds, Missouri. It's just just east, east of Carthage. So hopefully we can come down here and find another another piece of piece of timber. Then we'll round out the day down there by next city, Alba area. So we'll round out the day. So it's just going to be a kind of a damp, miserable day. That's what it's going to be. See if we can dodge the train here. There's no train coming. <laughs> Shebang. All right. Lunchtime. The old girl needs a bath, real bad, doesn't it? Tips. Tips. You think we're going somewhere? Where are we going? Hey, you gonna go? We're not going nowhere. No, we're not. Yeah, the old girl needs a bath, but I was looking at the forecast. We're supposed to have a fairly nice day tomorrow. And then Saturday and Sunday, more rain. So who knows how much we'll get to work this weekend. Not near as much as I want to. Or I won't get done near as much as I want to get done. I'll put it that way. That always seems to be the... Always seems to be the case. Bet you're wondering about that right there, aren't you? Yeah... Really, this was here, and we had another light there, but this new pendle hitch trailer sets up a little higher here, and it was getting into the plug, so me and Brandon had to move that, so we're going to have to fabricate something up there. That's just temporary. It's ugly, and I hate it. I hate not having three lights back there, too. I hate that. But, come on, Pips. Come on. Come on. <laughs> But the old trailer works pretty good. Got junk cables, main line, timber jack muffler, all kinds of goodies. But like I said, that gets into it when you turn sharp. And every now and then I gotta turn sharp and that'll get into the plug when it sets over here, so we had to move it up. Uh oh, she sees something. She's hard on squirrels. She is a squirrel killing machine how she should be so i think tomorrow and i think i've talked brandon into dragging logs for me tomorrow while i cut to try to speed up production so i think tomorrow the plan is right now we're going to go up to harrisonville and try to cut and hopefully we can get some drug i mean it was wet yesterday but we're going to try it anyway now i bought a little job of walnut this morning as i said that really i think we could take the cat over there and log a lot of them out and if it keeps raining like it is, we'll probably have to do that the first of the week just to try to keep production up, keep keep things moving along. Or we might just go over to Brandon's, get that other 548D and take it over there because it's <clears throat> it's really it's cl it's closer to Brandon's to the job site than it is from here. We still need to get this over there so to Brandon's hospital so Doctor Brandon can fix that because that's that's just a hassle right there with that one fork being bent like it is. Uh, shame on you, XHD. Shame on you. You're trying to sell me a name that you're not living up to. Of course, I am hard on stuff. Brandon can tell you that. These are all XHD attachments. The bucket, the grapple, and the forks. We got the machine, just a bare machine with no cat attachments. I went with the XHD, which the bucket and the, the grapple are really heavy, but these forks, me and Brandon were talking, we don't think these forks are near as heavy as they could be or probably should be but you know they do the job i wish they were a little heavier and a lot of times i wish they were a foot longer but still i've had those weights and they're in and i need to get them put on i need to go pick them up and get them put on they've been in since last november probably so we need to get this thing weighted up but this thing will either be going like i said down the road to cut that little jag of walnut or it's going to have to go up north 
Harrisonville and assist on that job because we like having the cat on every job. So that's it for today, guys. It's like I said, it's it's not a very good week for making videos for us. It's just not a very good week for work. It's just kind of a, a slow, boring week. It's, these rainy weeks, there's not a lot we can do. Luckily, we were able to go buy some timber today. Bought one job. The other job I looked at, it's pending. I, I think we'll get it. It's just a job of oak. I was hoping there'd be some walnut there, but there's not. There was two trees. I take that back. But the most part, it was just some pretty good size red oak and white oak. Some actual white oak. Not the usual post oak junk we normally cut. But yeah, hopefully we can get something going on it and just kind of add it to the list. The third job I was going to go look at, <clears throat> I called the guy when I got down there and he had to reschedule, which wouldn't, then he sweat off my back, but uh, so we'll try to look at it one day next week maybe and see if we can't get something lined up there. But anyway, guys, that's, that's it for today. Thanks for watching the videos. Like, comment, and subscribe. Wish I had more action for you, but some days are like that. More days than not when you get right down to it. But, oh well. Tomorrow's a new day and a new adventure, and we'll see what we can drown up. Scrounge up, not drown up. We drown. If it keeps raining, we'll be drowning. But, anyway, yeah. Thanks for following along. Follow us on all of our social outlets. Turner Logging, Instagram, Facebook, Logger Threads, Instagram, Facebook. And you can download that Timber Tracker app. Check everything out there. Guys, thanks a lot. See you later.